This is a message to the Constitutional Court of Romania from Professor Rainer Arnold, University of Regensburg in Germany. Dear Mr. President of the Constitutional Court, dear judges, ladies and gentlemen, on the occasion of the 30th anniversary of the Constitutional Court of Romania, I would like to congratulate very warmly and express my highest esteem for this court. For a long time, I've been personally and professionally connected with Romania, with many of its universities, and especially with the Constitutional Court. Presidents and judges of this Constitutional Court were highly appreciated permanent participants in my so far 22 international congresses on European and comparative constitutional law, which took place for a long time in my hometown Regensburg, but later abroad, often together with the constitutional courts of those countries. Constitutional courts have a paramount task in today's constitutionalism. They are the guardians of the constitution. They are not political actors, but they judge whether politics takes place within the framework of the Constitution. Politics does not stand outside, but is subject to the Constitution as the basic consensus of the society. Politics expresses itself in particular through the majority vote in Parliament, through uh, the adoption of legislation. The most important and far-reaching task of the Constitutional Court is to review the legislation for its conformity with the Constitution and, if necessary, to correct it. Legislation, law, that means politics and other forms of politics must remain within the limits set by the Constitution. The space of politics and the space of constitutional law are two different spaces, complementary to each other. If politics exceeds the space it is entitled to, the space of politics, and invades the space of the Constitution, it acts unconstitutionally. The Constitutional Court has a task of correction, this correction is not political action, but it is restoration of conformity of policy with the Constitution intended by the Constitution. This is restitution, restoration of the original intended order. This restitution is an extremely important service to democracy. Democracy is and can only be a democracy that conforms to the Constitution. A democracy contrary to the Constitution would be a contradiction in terms. However, constitutional courts also have the task of interpreting the Constitution, making its unwritten parts discernible, giving efficiency to the Constitution through interpretation, and in particular, to comprehend the universal fundamental values of the constitutional order, human dignity, freedom and equality as pillars of human coexistence in a state, and to make them visible in their jurisprudence. Constitution is a living instrument which the constitutional jurisdiction must adapt to the developments and changes with decisiveness, but also with prudence. The rule of law is the basis on which the values of the Constitution are transferred to the institutions of the state. Constitutional jurisdiction is an essential instrument of the rule of law, since it ensures judicially the respect for constitutional values by the state. Moreover, Constitutional courts must supervise 
the institutional balance of powers in the state intended by the constitution, which is a requirement of the freedom-oriented rule of law. The constitutional courts must draw attention to and correct de facto shifts of powers that could disturb this balance. Constitutional courts must also monitor the inter-institutional process to see whether it is conducted in solidarity and mutual respect. Finally, it is important to point out a function of constitutional jurisdiction that is becoming increasingly important in today's world. In contemporary constitutionalism, state power is opening up to the international and in Europe to the supranational community. The relativization of national sovereignty through this process is of central importance here. The embedding of the Constitution in the European Convention on Human Rights and the constitutional acceptance of the structural elements of supranationality, uh, such as um, the direct effect and the primacy of uh, the supranational law, has to be given due consideration by the constitutional courts. Romania's Constitutional Court has played a high role in the realization of these requirements of modern constitutionalism. During the 30 years of its existence, it has contributed significantly to the consolidation of the new constitution. The transformation achievements of the Constitutional Court in the post-communist period are of utmost importance. For this, the Constitutional Court of Romania is highly appreciated. Thanks for the past and best wishes for the future.